Back, it's time to lace up your running shoes because the run for the zoo is back. This is the Bioparks largest fundraiser and this year they're excited to announce the return of the run for the zoo school program. We're joined this morning by run for the zoo race manager Chelsea Martinez and school program participant from Cottonwood Montessori Kelly Nickerson to find out what the community is in for this year. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for being here this morning. We're so excited for run for the zoo this year. We were just talking about it in the break. I did it last year great event. Yes. Um, Chelsea, tell us a little bit about the school program and why schools should get involved. Yes, so the school program is open for elementary, middle, and high schools to compete against one another to win the title of most participation at Run for the Zoo. Volunteers like Kelly um, sign up to be their school coordinator and they register their school and we set an exclusive code Okay. to track all participation. Students get an exclusive discount for the 5K fitness and the one mile fun run and walk. Okay, Kelly, uh, Cottonwood Montessori has always been uh, a participant of the Run for the Zoo program. Uh, what keeps your kids and students coming back every year? Well, we have such a great time. I have a running club at my school. Um, so it's kind of our end of the year goal that we train for and they really love um, the big crowds, all the people cheering. There's a neighbor that always has a hose that they're spraying people with on the hot years and the kids get so excited to run through that hose. They love the popsicles after and getting to go hang out in the zoo with their friends. It's such a great community event and my kids are so excited about it year round. And we hear that you actually have done the half marathon in the past. Is that something you do every year or? Yes, I've done it every year except the inaugural year that they had it and the year I was 36 weeks pregnant. So okay. I love the half marathon. Well, how come? What's your favorite part of the event? Um, again, I really love the sense of community mm -hmm. and on the half marathon course, I love that it's an out and back. So I get to cheer for the other runners and see a lot of um, runners that I know within the community. It's such a treat to be out there um, that morning. Um, and Chelsea, uh, tell us, is there still time for schools to get signed up for the school program? And if so, how do they go about that? Yes, there is still time. Student registration is actually going to open Monday, February 27th. So if you'd like to register your school or see if your school is participating, you could head to runforthezoo.org, click on schools. You can either register your school there or there's a list of schools that are already participating. Awesome. Thank you guys again so much for being here this morning. If you want to participate in this year's Run for the Zoo or be part of the school program, you can head to always on krqe.com. We'll have all of the information listed there along with a full recap of the interview. Let's